Massimo is a member of the Sicilian Mafia family and Laura is a sales director. She does not expect that a trip to Sicily trying to save her relationship would turn her world around as Massimo kidnaps her and give her 365 days to fall in love with him. Hey everyone! Welcome back to Movie Plots. Today we are going to watch and talk about a 2020 Polish erotic romantic drama film called 365 Days. The film was directed by Barbara Bielaus and Tomas Mondes. After a meeting between the Torricelli Sicilian Mafia crime family and black market dealers, Massimo Torricelli saw a beautiful woman on a beach as he was talking to his father, the Mafia boss. Suddenly, the dealers shoot Massimo and his father. Massimo survives while his father dies from his injuries. Five years later, Massimo is the leader of the Torricelli crime family. In Warsaw, Laura Beale is unhappy in her relationship with her boyfriend, Martin. Laura celebrates her 29th birthday in Italy with Martin and her best friend Olga, but after Martin visits Edna without her, she goes for a walk and runs into Massimo, who kidnaps her. At his villa, Massimo reveals to Laura that since he saw her on the beach five years ago, all he could think about was her. After searching for years and finally spotting her, he kidnapped her, intending to keep her as a prisoner for 365 days in the hopes that she will fall in love with him. He also promises her that he will not have sex with her without her consent, though he is physically aggressive with her. As they spend time together, Laura teases him and then refuses to sleep with him. At a hotel in Rome, she begins to tease him again and he cuffs her to the bed. Massimo then makes Laura watch him receive oral sex from another woman. Afterward, he claims he is going to penetrate her but changes his mind and orders her to get dressed for a club. At the club, Laura flaunts herself for Massimo and his friends, angering him. When she begins to flirt with a man from the rival Mafia family, the man gropes her. Massimo draws his weapons and Laura is taken out of the club. The following morning, she awakens on a yacht to Massimo and his fellow mafioso, Mario, arguing. Massimo confesses that he shot the man's hand who had groped Laura, inciting a war between the two families. Laura attempts to apologize but Massimo blames her for the incident. They argue and Laura falls into the water. Massimo jumps in to save her. When she regains consciousness, he admits he was scared she might not make it and does not want to lose her. Laura begins to sedate Massimo and the two engage in sex repeatedly. Later that evening, Massimo and Laura attend a masquerade ball, where a woman named Anna who is Massimo's ex-girlfriend threatens Laura. After the ball, Massimo and Laura made love again. He tells her he is sending her to visit her loved ones in Warsaw, and promises to join her after finishing up business. He then tells her he loves her. On the car ride to the airport, Domenico, another one of Massimo's mafiosos, tried to reassure a nervous Laura that Anna won't hurt her but gets a phone call, tells Laura to wait in Warsaw, and rushes away. In Warsaw, Laura waits for Massimo for days with no contact. She reconnects with Olga and they go clubbing. She runs into Martin, who says he has been looking for her to apologize. He attempts to convince her to reconcile and follows her back to her apartment, where Massimo is unexpectedly waiting. Martin leaves and Laura and Massimo make love again. When Laura opens his shirt, she discovers his wounds from the ongoing conflict. She confesses to him that she loves him. The following morning, Massimo proposes and she accepts. However, she asks him to keep his occupation a secret from her parents. Back in Italy, Mario informs Massimo of the rising tensions. Laura mentions feeling unwell but brushes off seeing a doctor. They discuss their upcoming wedding that her family is not allowed to attend, as she does not want them to discover what Massimo does. However, Massimo allows Olga to come as Laura's bridesmaid. When Olga visits, Laura reveals she is pregnant. Olga urges her to tell Massimo about the pregnancy. Laura calls him and asks if they can talk after dinner. Meanwhile, Mario receives a phone call from a Torricelli informant, that the rival Mafia family is about to kill Laura. Laura's car enters a tunnel but does not come out the other side. Mario rushes to find Massimo just as Laura's call drops. Realizing the implications, Massimo breaks down. A police car blocks the entrance of the tunnel. The movie ends here. Thank you for listening. Kindly like and subscribe for more videos like this.
and tell me on what movies would you like me to make summaries on in the comments section below. Until then, stay healthy and blessed.